Hi everyone, um, Mohawk Gamer here. Uh, today has been a bit of an exciting day. I went and bought a new flute. <laughs> um, so I thought I would uh, demonstrate it and unbox it for you. It came in this really nice box. Um, and I'm also going to compare it to my other flute, which is something called Venus. Um, never heard of it really before. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll show you the differences between the two and why I chose the one that I did. Um, so this is the Pearl 525. Um, it will have a solid silver lip plate and riser and silver plating throughout the rest of the body. Um, yeah, it's got this really cool little sticker on here with model number and, and serial number. And kind of stuff on it. So, <clears throat> uh, and I was also given this, uh, which is kind of like for my record keeping. Um, it's got my receipt um, for the item, uh, for the flute. Um, but it's from All Flutes Plus, and that's on Warren Street in London. I'll put the details down below in the description box. Um, yeah. Wow. <clears throat> wow. Okay, so it comes in with this uh, a little bag. It's a soft, soft case bag, uh, handle and strap. Um, it's got a zip in the front. Let's see, what else? Oh, also in this box. Yeah. Like an instruction manual from Pearl Flutes themselves. Uh, loads of different languages. But, I don't know if you can see any of that or how clear you can see it. But it gives you instructions on how to put it together, how to clean it and all that kind of stuff, and pretty much how to play it as well, which is pretty cool. So. A nice little woolen inside part of the, the bag. Ooh. Looks like the flute case here, really nice soft cover, and it's really hard. But it comes inside the bag, it came with a wooden stick um, to push the cloth through the inside to clean it and that kind of stuff. It comes with some cleaning cloths, one for the inside of the flute and the other one on the outside of the flute um, to wipe it off and that kind of stuff. <clears throat> and here's the flute. So these snaps, they just open up on the side, like there and there. And there's my flute. My brand new flute. Uh, it comes with this little piece of paper, called. Is, they call it a silver saver. Um, nobody really knows if it actually works or what it does. Um, I don't know if there's anything magical about this piece of paper, but just keep it in there for now, anyways, just in case. It, it's supposed to stop the silver from tarnishing on your flute, um, but the, it'll tarnish anyways with um, with normal air and oxygen and that kind of stuff. And even the acidity in your fingers um, can actually change the the silver coating and stuff on it. So this is silver plated. Uh, the head joint is also silver plated, apart from the lip, the lip plate is solid silver. So. so here's the flute completely completely made up. Quite nice and shiny, everything about it.
But yeah, it's, it's actually got a really good response on this one, and I really like this one. Um, so this is the, the Pearl 525 that I bought, and this is my old one, it's called a Venus. Um, have no idea what this is made of. Um, bought it really cheap on eBay. Um, I don't even think it even exists as a full brand. Um, bought it from China, I believe. Um, I don't know if you can see the, the tone hole in it, but it's off-center and it's not even cut right that well. So it's kind of made us it more difficult to produce any sound with it. Usually it's uh, just quite airy and um, it has trouble with um, upper and lower register, like the high ends on both ends. And they're usually really out of tune. So I don't know if you can tell how airy and a bit more force I have to put into it just to even get the notes to come out properly. And it's probably out of tune anyways, I'm just trying to play that. Um, but, yes, so you can see the difference. This is the Pearl, and this is the Venus. It just looks much nicer, it looks shinier, a lot cleaner. And it produces a much nicer sound. Um, but yeah. So, uh... So for the instrument, uh, it it depends on what you're really looking for, what you want. Um, for mine, mine, mine was 535 pounds, um, and that's very good for an intermediate flute. Um, the main thing that I wanted was I, I wanted a solid silver lip plate. Um, the sound, when it goes over silver, it's a softer metal, so it gives it a bit more resonance and a bit more of a beefy tone, they say. So if this was solid silver, the entire flute, it would definitely feel a lot bassier and heavier, especially on the lower end. Um, so yeah, even that sounds pretty good, um, just on the low. Um, I even tried five different flutes, I believe. I tried Meinhardt, I tried Yamaha, um, and I've tried some Trevor Jones, as, as well as these uh, pearl flutes. And the pearl is just what came out on top, and that's what I really liked. So, so yeah. Um, I'm still waiting on my clarinet as well, so hopefully that will come. Um, apparently the courier might have lost it. Um, I don't know, but uh, hopefully I get it back soon. But, but yeah. Until then, I'm gonna start working on some a couple of a couple of covers for you. I'm already arranging a couple of pieces, and I'm also doing a collaborative piece um, from Final Fantasy VIII. Um, so that's gonna be a bit exciting. So I need to get that arranged and put that together um, so we can start filming and recording that. But yeah, until then, see ya.